Okay, here we are. SEMA 2014. That sounds funny because it seems it? like it seems like 2013 was just here. Yeah, it seems like uh, days ago. You know, th this this year was incredible. It went by as if it was days instead of years, and uh, yeah, it was an exciting year to say the least. It was. So I've got two special guys here that are become staples within detailing within the supply chain. So Renee and John, and so just introduce yourself. My name is Renee Ortega, co-founder of Detailing.com. John Strang, co-founder of Detailing. So yeah, you guys are, it, it's amazing. I watched the launch of you guys back in 08. Now, 08 wasn't a real friendly year for car care. It was a pretty tough time, but yet you guys pulled off a launch in 08. How that? I mean, what what made you want to do it? And what was the passion behind it? And uh, and, and why? Well, you know, we, we've been car, car guys all of our lives. You know, we were lucky enough to land detailing.com domain. Uh, when I met my partner, John, we had worked on some, some other projects, and when he found out that we, we had that domain, uh, the wheels started spinning. And my background, I've been a detailer all my life, own a body shop, currently still own a body shop. We work with a lot of dealerships in, in Southern California. So I had the knowledge, I've been working with products all my life, and um, it was just a perfect match. You know, John knew about the e-commerce, I had the products, uh, the knowledge of the, of the products and how to use them. So it was a match made in heaven. And uh, you know, when you have the right idea, and you have a strong concept, and you have a business plan, sky's the limit. Isn't that true? And you know, so going back, let's go back from the outsiders. You know, I see these two young guys come into this. They launch this supply chain. The economy's tanked. All the big guys are are just taking and sheltering. They're hunk hunkering down just to survive. You guys launch it. Pretty small. Your your your, your starting point. Your warehouse was how big compared to now? Uh, well, our warehouse when we open is probably the size of our bathroom right now. Yeah, no lie, it was. Wasn't it, it? It, it sure was. And, you know, it was funny when we first opened that a lot of people were saying to us, you know, uh, what do you guys think you're doing? I mean, a lot of our neighbors, just guys that were behind us when we'd open up the roll-up, they're saying, really, you're going to open up a business right now in this economy. And I, 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 I think it almost made us feel more comfortable knowing that if we can just make the first year go, that everything else is going to work itself out. So here we are, all these, you know, five, six years later, almost seven years later, we're at SEMA. I think you guys did it. So I think, you know, the, the launch went successful in 08. Yeah. You came through. Now your current building uh, is, is how big. You got a training center built onto it. So not only supplying, but you got a training center built right there. And what, what square footage are we looking at now? Uh, we're definitely looking at over 10,000 square feet uh, between uh, the warehouse, our showroom. We've got a beautiful showroom. If you guys are ever in the area, we invite you guys out. We're open six days a week. And we've got a beautiful showroom, our training center. Uh, combined, I, we're, we're, we're definitely over 10,000, pushing close to 12,000 square feet. So starting out in a uh, in a warehouse that was a bathroom size and going up to 10,000 square feet, I would say kudos to you guys. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. We appreciate you and uh, Sonax. Uh, working with all of you guys has been a blessing to us, and we look forward to the future. And you guys are a multi-brand uh, company, so you guys take and rep a lot of brands. The thing that I think is really unique with you and some of the smaller suppliers today is you're a hands-on company to where if people, a detailer, especially the professionals that are here at this show, if they need some help, they can reach out to you, correct? 100%. And it's something that we pride ourselves in is education. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we went with the training center. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we have great customer service on the phone. Most of our guys reach out to us, whether they've been working with the product or they find themselves having an issue with the product. You know, we don't we don't believe in putting down a product. We believe that sometimes people may not be using it all that well. I love it. And, and we really want to be there for them and, and show them how it should properly be used. Our communication with people like yourself who test products, the manufacturers themselves who teach us how to properly use the products, and then we relay that message over to the end users. How cool is that? And what I like about this is that it's going to take, and again, it, we've, we've said it all times, you know, when, 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 when we've taken, we rise up as an industry, all boat rises. You guys are about building up the entrepreneur. You guys are building up detailing. And you're also about the enthusiast, the guys that come in, the weekend warriors, that are just as passionate about their car. So you can help out the pro, or you can help out the weekend warrior, correct? Oh, 100%. Yeah, we, we, we look at everybody almost in the same sense because whether you're a professional, you're trying to take care of your own vehicle, you know, we call our, our consumers prosumers. Yeah. You know, because they're buying polishers, they're buying compounds, and they need to know the proper process, you know, how to use uh, perfect finish properly and how to use the pads properly, the speeds and the pressure. So, yeah, 100%. really doesn't matter who it is. We want them using the product properly. And a thing about, I've been in your shop many times where people come in, they'll ask for something, 
you guys have got a whiteboard, you know, kind of your dream board. If you start hearing things or you see something at this show and it's really progressive, you're going to bring it in, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. We take pride in that. We also take pride in testing all the products as well. So we work with them ourselves. We, we try to do some pain corrections just to keep us, not so much to offer services, but really just to keep us on top of our game. You know, you want to be working with new clear coats. You want to be working with ceramic clear coats and really understand when someone's talking about a soft clear coat, a hard clear coat, and how you work with those products. No, I dig. Okay, so th today we've had some really great people from the detailing industry come through, including you guys. Thank you. I'm going to ask you one question. 08, it still blows me away that you guys launch an 08 and to watch your success through the years and that you guys did it. One word that describes why that happened. Blessed. Oh, I like it. That one's a new one. Blessed. Because we are blessed. The other thing that we're blessed about is that I know, John, you're more the quiet guy and the technology guy behind it. And when we, when I've been training in the shop, we also put you as the clean, cleanliness freak. Is that you like a really clean operation. So Renee and I would make a mess out of things and then you'd make sure that we cleaned up for ourselves. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, I've loved watching the progressiveness. And when you walk into your showroom, it's really kind of a unique place. There's really nothing else like it in the country right now. And you can showcase all these different brands. Okay, how'd you like to have a screen like that? Is what? that thing cool or I, what? I think that I think we're gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna have to talk to Jason, see where we can pick one of those up. Yeah, they're they're wanting to get a bigger one, so maybe we can get a, a, a deal. You know, it can it can stay at your guys' shop four weeks and then come to mine or something like yeah, that. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's let's put it together. We got a Sonex screen going. I just got a 60 inch for our shop, and I was proud of that. And now I walked up to that, and I was like, my 60 inch, you couldn't even see it. You know, I mean, it's just there. So guys, hey, thanks for coming in. Enjoy SEMA. Thanks for coming by the Sonex booth. It's always good to see both of you. you too, Randy. It's a blessing. We're lucky. Yeah, there you go. We're lucky to have you guys, the, the level of professionalism that you guys offer, your entire team, not just you two, but your entire family environment and the support that you guys show detailers, both pro and pro amateur alike. So thanks again. Thank you, Randy.